If you're trying to get a sick looking burst fade, watch this video. What's up guys? This is my zesty brother and he needs a blessing. As usual, I'm gonna start by sectioning off the hair. And I had him soak his hair before coming in because curly hair does not hold moisture well. And if I was just gonna spray his hair, the water pretty much wouldn't absorb at all. Blood has never kept curly hair before. I'm gonna use a white tooth comb to help detangle it. God, look at all this hair that's falling out, bro. You're going bald. Supposed to shed like 100 hairs a day. You're shedding 200 hairs a day. <laughs> but we're gonna take the parietal ridge into the top of the hair. The point of recession right here so that's how I section off the top and then we're gonna bring it down like this to also get the crown this is the crown and this is the parietal ridge they're both points on which the head starts to round and we do not want to cut them too short otherwise the top will not be supported by the sides and it will look like a mushroom so now the top is completely sectioned off with the parietal ridge and crown in it on this hair down and begin to debull with a number four all right for this next step what are we doing for the next step shave them all since it is a burst fade I'm going to be leaving this section long however I am gonna take a number four down here so it's not straggly so the four is gonna come throughout here. Now, if you want to have more of a mullet look, keep this area long and don't cut it with the four. Now, I'm gonna take a number two and begin my guideline, which is gonna be like an arc. I'm gonna close that and go right below the guideline I just made. And to clean up the canvas a little bit, I'm gonna do the clipper over comb now. Just so I don't have this dangling hair in my way while I'm fading. Fading down is probably the best way that you can cut hair since it involves switching your guards way less, which is way more time efficient. And in my opinion, it's just easier to blend that way. Less guidelines mean less room for error. I only make one guideline and that's my number one guideline. I'm gonna take my clipper with no guard closed, make a line all the way around the ear like this. The reason I'm not using my trimmer is because the trimmer will create a harsher line, which is harder to fade out. Now I'll turn the clipper around Take my trimmer and trim right below that guideline I just created like this. And again, this is how I get that seamless transition from a stubble that I get from the clipper to complete bald, which I'll get from the foil shaver. You wanna make sure you're not hitting the top of the guideline though, because that defeats the purpose of using the clipper first. Now I'm gonna take the foil shaver and go right below that area I just got with the trimmer. Now I'm gonna take my number one guard and make that same guideline I did last video. Now, burst fades are tricky because in this area, you have to fade sideways. So notice how I'm always having the clipper cutting against the grain. So up here, I'm cutting like this, and then here, I'm cutting like this. I am not showing my barber this video. Your barber gonna think you gay? Zesty 360. Now I'm taking that half guard, and as I work my way down, I'm gonna close the lever. Now I'm doing the same thing with no guard as I move down the head, closing the lever. And since we made the first guideline with our clippers, this last line fades out really easily. And now I'm doing the same thing with my one and a half guard, moving down the head, closing the lever. Last step, one guard open. Remove that final line. So this part clearly isn't blended in fully, so I'm gonna go back to my number two guard and flick out until it is. And thinning scissors to soften out that line. Both sides are now blended. I'm gonna take care of the back of the head. First, I'm gonna blend up from the four guideline we created to blend this up. And then I'm gonna blend it into the sides. I'm gonna take my number four and then just flick out. Now the sides are done. I'm gonna line it up before blending it into the top. Now we're taking the top down and just like last video, I'm gonna do the same method. Split the hair down the middle so I can blend it into the sides properly. This is good, you can just leave it like this. And start in the back by matching this length to this length. Even though the guideline is right here, I'm not gonna chop off all this length since it is curly hair and when it gets dry, it's gonna shrink up and curl up. Pretty much just gonna follow this guideline I just created in the back. Now I'm arcing it downwards so the front is longer. And finally, I'm gonna take horizontal sections, even out the top. You can see it kind of rounds like this. Cut this part off, taking about a half an inch off. Yeah! yeah. Huh?